I'm Dell, and this is Arcade One Up Tron. Just arrived today. I got my pre-order early. It was supposed to come in mid-December. I ordered this from Walmart. I paid full price. Uh, maybe you want to wait until the price comes down. I don't know if it's coming down. This is the most expensive Arcade One Up that I've bought. 700 bucks Walmart pre-order. Looks good. The box was dusty. I dusted it off. There's a little bit of damage to the box in this spot. Um, looks good though. So I'm going to get this thing unboxed and we'll see what we got. Okay, once I got that flap open, uh, instruction manual, the documentation was right on top. I haven't opened this yet. Um, just looks like uh, an assembly manual and uh, some other things. We'll go through that here in a bit. Um, everything looks good with the exception of uh, some damage on this box which I also saw on the outer box but I've kind of peered inside here and it looks undisturbed so I'm not too concerned we'll we'll look at that we'll get that open and look at that but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lay open all these up and lay everything out So, something I noticed right off the bat, I've got a little bit of a nick on the side art panel, one of the side art panels. I'm not sure if that was for me taking it out of the box or if it just came out of the box that way. I'm not sure how well it's showing up here, but uh, these things they're never perfect when you take them out. Um, that's going to be hidden in my game room anyway because I'm sitting it right next to my Star Wars cabinet, which is right there. That shelf's going to go. Um, and initial impressions on the uh, the artwork. It looks good. I'm happy with it. Um, we'll see what it looks like when we get it together and it's all lit up um, yeah I like it uh, I don't think it's as nice the artwork is as nice as it is on the uh, Star Wars that I have and the screen well this is a vertical cabinet and this will be my first vertical arcade one up doesn't look much different than uh, and the screens that I have on my other units. Um, I think this part down here lights up. Not sure until we get it together. But I know that this is one of the cabinets that has more more lights than probably any of the others. Lighted marquee, supposed to be a lighted control deck. Um, there's supposed to be a lighted front panel, which that's what that is. That's a light there, and then there's a clear panel here. I think that's the front panel. Um, just need to get it together. And here's the documentation. Uh, we've got uh, 
the assembly instructions of course uh, I believe that's the Wi-Fi setup there the warranty there's a Spanish and French version of that too I'm just showing the English version same with the uh, owner's manual and the uh, multi color light up deck bar so that's the documentation and here's the included stool with the pre-order um, doesn't look any different than the Pac-Man one that I already have other than this one is just Tron so it looks pretty simple to put together there's a Pac-Man one right there that I already have yeah this isn't going to be a step-by-step -step video on how to put one of these together because I just have one camera I will mention that the only tools you really ever need to put one of these arcade one-ups together is a Phillips head screwdriver uh, which uh, you know is pretty standard in everybody's tool drawer um, so it's not to use a drill I've used drills um, but I'm a, I'm a mechanic so I'm comfortable with that uh, if you don't feel comfortable with using a drill maybe over tightening or stripping it out then I wouldn't recommend it um, yeah these uh, these a symbol I've heard people say like IKEA furniture um, which is pretty easy to do okay my initial reaction to the control panel is that stick feels pretty good all the buttons seem pretty good. It seems pretty solid. Um, fire buttons on the panel itself, they're about the same quality as every other arcade one up that I've owned. The spinner, well, I know there were some that had that, uh, I think it was the 12 in one that had the spinner on it, the recent one, and they didn't have any complaints. But I haven't bought an arcade one up with a spinner and this one doesn't feel as solid as the one on my main cabinet which is a third party item that I bought of course this can always be upgraded everything here can be upgraded on this panel pretty simple pretty straightforward so to be honest this doesn't look uh, much different than any of my other arcade one ups that I've purchased in terms of quality um, other than that first gen uh, final fight that I have um, so and there's nothing here really that uh, you know stands out to me personally but we'll see once I get this together um, and it's all lit up because I think that was the thing that attracted me most to it was uh, that the form factor was similar to the arcade and uh, that it had all those uh, all the shiny stuff well, right off the bat I want to say that this is a beautiful machine it looks fantastic um, we've got the lighted marquee of course and underneath that facing the play field is I don't know if you can see it black light that shines down onto the play field. Um, this uh, is some kind of uh, reflective black light sensitive ink and it just glows and it looks fantastic. And of course the uh, control stick it also lights up and there's the lit front panel I wasn't sure about this at first because it didn't look like it was going to fit until I got the control panel in um, of course you got the spinner the control stick start buttons there's an earphone jack the live button this does not have online uh, gameplay but it does have online leaderboards of course there's the riser now as good as this thing looks I actually think they could have made it look a lot better 
there's a lot of unused real estate in the center portion where there is no art on any side of it. Uh, that's not a major issue, but if you look at my Star Wars, you can tell that the art was done much better on that. I would say total assembly time was probably about three hours. Probably two hours of that into the machine. I did mess up and I lost about 20 minutes. Had to go back, fix something. Screwed something in backwards, you know how it goes. And the stool and the, the riser, probably 15, 20 minutes piece. I mean, it wasn't, those aren't hard. Okay, I'm going to go from a complete off status power on. Standard loading screen for Arcade 1-Up. Now that light bar across the top, that's a reflection of the black light that's uh, shining down on the play field. Um, with this camera I can't get an angle to where that's not showing, but you don't see that when you're right up next to the machine playing uh, playing the games. It's asking me to set up wireless setup right now. I'll do this later. Uh, like I said, this only has online leaderboards. Uh, there's no online gameplay, so I'm not really interested in looking at that at the moment. Okay, and here's your selection screen. You've got two games to pick from, of course, Tron and Discatron. And then you've got their respective settings. I'll go into the setting, settings menu for Tron to start with. Now here you can adjust lives. I think it goes all the way up to 9. 3 is the default I believe. You can set uh, bonus life at anywhere from 1,000 to 99,000. Difficulty is 1 to 9. Smoothing, I'm not sure what that does. It has something to do with the graphics. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that for now. I'm not going to be able to tell what that's doing on video anyway. Uh, and then you can switch everything back to default settings if you want. I'll just restore default. I had been playing around with it earlier. And to exit, just select hide this menu. Uh, you got a similar settings menu for disk of drum. Initialize, the default is 3, but you can adjust it between 1 and 9. You can adjust the bonus between uh, 1,000 and yeah, 1,000 and 99,000, and it's also got a second bonus life. And then uh, difficulty is also between one and nine. There's uh, just a smoothing on on that, and then uh, restore default settings. Okay, I'll try to show some gameplay here and tell you what I think about the controls. So I'm reaching over a tripod now, so it's kind of an awkward situation for me. I just press one, it, it adds a credit and then starts the game.
The stick feels pretty good. Um, the firing trigger is doesn't seem to be as fast as the arcade, and I don't know if that's a problem with the emulation or if it's just the controller itself. Because I think it's probably just the controller. It, it it's sufficient, but it doesn't feel like the arcade. And I'm going to say the same thing for the spinner. It, it doesn't feel the same and it doesn't spin as fast as I remember the spinner in the arcade. Yeah, I don't know about this controller. But I am trying to play this at a weird angle, so that might have something to do with it. Yeah, I'm definitely not digging this spinner. Alright, cleared one level, so I'm going to start over and we'll look at Disc of Drawn. Alright, Disc of Tron. Now, I was never very good at this, uh, this game at the arcade, but I went ahead and was playing it earlier, and I showed, when I was showing it to my wife, and I got past the first <laughs> three or four levels without dying. But like I say, I never really cared too much for this game. Well, this seems to play okay, but I don't, like I said, I don't like the spinner. I died there. And the deflect button is the top button on the controller. And I'm not even sure how to do that move. And died there. Arcade 1 Up Tron, is it worth it? Well, that's mixed. And I can say that if you're nostalgic for the game like I am, you know, it was a must-buy for you, then you're probably going to get this cabinet anyway. Um, it's a great-looking cabinet, probably the best-looking one in my game room, other than I prefer the, the art on my Star Wars uh, cabinet. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a good-looking cabinet. My biggest problem with it is the controls. Um, I'm looking for an authentic gameplay experience, and for $700 which is the most expensive arcade one-up I've ever purchased, I think I should get that. And I'm not getting that with this, this, uh, this unit. Um, the biggest issue is the spinner, of course. Um, that's going to have to be changed. I'm going to have to switch that out. I've got a Turbo Twist 2 in my main cabinet, and uh, they're about 70 bucks, and I'll, I'll get one for this. That's, you know, another 70 you're going to have to add on to the 700 if you're considering that because I don't recommend this spinner um, and the arcade stick itself it's about 90 percent of what I expected um, the trigger is a little slow that may be a problem with the emulation not sure but the rest of the gameplay seems fine so I think it's that's also an issue of, of quality of the controls but that's something I can live with uh, the, the spinner, on the other hand, that's definitely going to need an upgrade for me. 
uh, it doesn't feel uh, like I said it doesn't feel authentic um, so bottom line is this worth uh, 700 buck bucks uh, I'm gonna say no um, I mean it's a must have for me of course and it, it's gonna I'll put it in my game room and it's gonna stay there and it's gonna look great uh, I'm going to have to upgrade that spinner and you know you're getting into more money when the cabinet was already expensive to begin with but yeah I I don't think you know this being the most expensive arcade one up that I've ever purchased that it's worth that extra two or three hundred than what I was used to pay so you know that's my honest opinion that's my two cents um, and uh, that's about it thanks for watching